What's going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel for another market update hope everybody's having a lovely day and with that being said let's get into the TA all right guys so I'm gonna start off by saying this guys there is an order to the chaos and guess what guys that is what we do here on this channel all right so if you guys do enjoy that leave a like all right if you guys do appreciate like in all seriously and in all seriousness if you guys do appreciate the time I put into my content Please show your support with a like and boost the channel. Thank you very much. And let's get into it. All right. So like I said, there's an order of the chaos, guys. Uh, that is exactly what I'm trying to do here on the channel. Okay. And yes, I said trying because you know what, guys? People make mistakes. It happens. Okay. But you know, I will say uh, we are right more than we are wrong. Okay. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll just leave it at that. Okay. We will leave it at that. We call it the midterm price fluctuations and we call these short-term price fluctuations all right and then we also do talk about the long term this is also what we do here on this channel okay now i actually i do want to give a quick plug before we get into the ta okay because i uh, i have proved to myself that yes the membership literally does pay for it. like i mean i already knew it was going to end up paying for itself but it's paid for itself on the second day and i'm like what the heck all right like it's like it if you were doing what i did you just paid for a year of my membership all right well you would have paid for a lot more than a year of the membership all right but like you know all right there was that but literally all right guys two of the active trade ideas that are out there right now and there are two that are uh we'll say complacent okay uh they are just ideas at the moment all right but the two active trade ideas guys are up 30 to 60 percent all right so that if that like is something that you are like you know if, if that's something you desire it's there okay link down in the description it pays for itself all right so with that being said let's get into the charts okay guys so order to the chaos we had a triple bullish divergence popping up here on dia's daily time frame okay on top of that we have the 200 ma right underneath us and then you come over here to spx and you're on the 200 ma Okay, I told you guys that I didn't think we were going to get a daily close underneath the 200 MA. I thought we were going to come down here on QQQ, tap that gap fill, reverse off that gap fill, all without having that daily close under the 200 MA. And guess what, guys? Yes, in order to the freaking chaos. That is what we have right here. All right, uh, we are seeing a wick. Okay, so maybe we do see sellers start stepping back in. We're going to have to see. But like I've been saying, guys, I am looking for a bounce Okay, and that bounce does look like it is, it's, you know, it's staring right at us, okay? Come over here, this trend line is actually wrong. It should be something, it's just a little like that. Okay, we come over the hourly time frame to probably make it a little cleaner here. Uh, no, this is pretty much it. And guess what, guys? We've got an hourly close above it that has not happened the whole time. I think this is the move. All right, um, all right, but you know what? Let's uh, try and have some order to the order of our chaos here, all right? Which is, we're going to start it with the daily time frame, okay? We'll start off with the daily time frame, then we'll go over the four, then we'll go over the one hour, and then yeah, okay. So let's get into it, guys. Let's get into it. All right, so it is currently 2.44 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You do have a bullish engulfing candlestick on SPY, SPX, QQQ, probably. Nope, doesn't have it. We're going to have to see if you do push up over, uh, what is this, 293.93 by the end of the day, 4 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. All right. Um, but yeah, like I said, guys, this is where I expected the buyers to step up. Okay, if the buyers didn't step up here and you get your daily close underneath this, this is when I said, hey, you have the opportunity to go 10 to $20, the chance. Uh, we're not going to say opportunity because this is risky, uh, risky potatoes here. You cannot, you can't eat these beans, guys. You can't eat these beans. Yes. If you enjoy my wacky phrases, also leave a like, another like. All right, let's get into it. Back into it because we were already into it. You got the bullish divergence going on at Spies, uh, Daily CCI, and Stochastic. Right as you come into the 200 in May, you had a tap on SPX's 200 in May yesterday. You did not hit it on SPY. Today, you hit on SPY. Now, all major indices uh, that I watch, okay, SPX, SPY, and QQQ. I guess we could watch uh, the NASDAQ. Um, we're actually going to bring up something I brought to the Patreon last night, okay? So, like, just saying i'm serious guys there's so much freaking value that i am bringing to the patreon all right so again if you guys do want to be a part of that it's over there it is definitely already well overpaid for itself all right but guys i will do everything i freaking can to make sure we bank in there all right so just know that is literally my goal okay your best interest it is my best interest okay there we go. Let's let's keep going. All right. Because I'm excited, guys. There's just so much, uh, so much hype things happening on the charts, guys. I'm loving it. I'm literally loving it. 
Um, just so many plays are popping up out of absolutely nowhere. Uh, you just sit here waiting, and everything is just looking ugly, and then all of a sudden, boom. Everything is looking sexy again. Everything's making so much sense. But then again, like I said, we do try to provide that order to the chaos here on the channel. So I guess we kind of always try and make it make sense, but, like, no. Everything we were discussing yesterday and the day before and on the weekly update... It's literally happening right before our eyes. So that is what gets me super freaking jazzed, guys. All right, and guess what, guys? The the next, the next super solid, what I'm going heavy on is coming up, okay? And we have to go through this trade idea to get to that trade idea. And that is coming up on the horizon. Holy crap, and I, I am so excited about it. I am so excited. That's when I get to literally... I, I get to just buy these uh, few month, uh, you know, puts. And, uh, well, I mean, I'm going to do them on different, a couple different plays. Um, there will be an individual index play as well. Um, but I'm very excited for one ticker in particular because this is what I am. Uh, I, I'm, I'm willing to go decently heavy on and then boom, you just really get to wait. You just get to wait and watch things play out right there, just like we're doing right now, right? But, you know, we're going to be doing that again in, like, two weeks. Probably, probably one to two weeks. We'll say one to two weeks. I don't know how long this rip is going to last, okay? We're going to obviously be watching the charts. So we're going to be here each and every day for you guys. Uh, I don't I don't have any crazy schedule this week, so I shouldn't be gone like last week. I think it was, like, three out of six days or four out of six days. No, not four out of six days. Probably the three. I don't know, all right? But I'm here, all right? And either way, guys, if you don't want to miss me, there you go, Patreon, all right? Uh, last plug, uh, except for right before the end of the video. That is when I will also plug this thing, okay? But I'm just going to say, guys, so like, really, two two trades, okay? The two trades that I have called out, like, I've called out, I think it's six trades now, all right? Uh, but they were trade ideas. The two active trades were sexy, okay? They're going sexy right now, and I'm, I'm in love with it, guys. I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the Coco. The Coco, all right? Um... Why aren't we an IWM? Screw IWM, guys. Nobody nobody wants IWM. I do want to show you guys we have uh, the weekly stochastic getting closer. It is inching closer to that cross. And once you get that cross, I think you're going to get a decent size uh, a bounce. Or maybe it's something like this and it's pretty feeble and then you come back down. All right. I don't know. But uh, it is my opinion that we probably end up coming b uh, back up here. I'm... I'm going to be straight up with you guys. All right. This is where the indecision came on DIA. This is where... Probably going to come right back to, and on, uh, excuse me, I, I had yawn, hiccup, whatever the heck that thing was, right? There are a few of them, but now they're gone, okay? Uh, you come over here on, um, on Spy, and you get the same exact thing. So I, I think you're probably in the golden pocket is right here, and which is uh, the 0.618 uh, Fibonacci is right above the 408.14 gap flow on Spy. So I think that is where price is going. Like, that's the magnet. Okay, this spot, this is going to act as a magnet, but we all do know gaps act as magnets, and then boom, there's an 80... Well, we don't... Maybe maybe we don't all know. Maybe there's some new people here, guys. Uh, if if you do end up seeing price go into a gap, you got an 80% chance of reversal on every single gap that is on an index, okay? I don't know about individual tickers. I haven't looked into that, all right? I don't know the rules on those, but uh, what I cover here is the indices, so... Uh, yeah, that is, that is our forte here on the channel. All right. Um, uh, but yeah, look at that. You guys, buyers stepping in. Okay. You had last time, you had the last week's wick, but you have a big fat wick this week. All right. And it's just literally the same. It's the opposite that we were seeing up here. It's the same thing we were seeing down here is what I'm getting at. You literally have the same exact candle. I don't know if it's probably not going to finish out the week like this. I think we're probably going to finish out the week with a hammer candlestick. We're probably going to close around 400 on spy, but we're actually going to go over this the lower time frames here in this video uh, just so we can see, just so we can have a little, you know, a little magnifying glass of insight into tomorrow's price action, all right? Um, because we do know where, like, the swing trade is right now. We know where this thing is likely headed with, with all likelihood, all right? There are not many factors suggesting we, you know, uh, you continue lower here before having a significant bounce. I do think the significant bounce is here. Uh, and I'm going to show you guys the futures that I showed on um, last night to the Patreon. And uh, yeah, holy crap, guys. We have a really compelling argument for a bounce. I'm going to be straight up. And I don't say argument as if I'm trying to convince anyone. I don't care, okay? I, I now have, guys, I, I now have, like, the Patreon, okay? So, like, hey, I, haters, I don't care, okay? But, like, we're going to bank. And I, I'm ready for this, guys. I'm ready, all right? Like, I am... Um, I'm pretty freaking sure you're about to get a significant move to the upside. We've already seen it started here, obviously, but I think it continues on into next week. Obviously, I, I commented on that in yesterday's video. 
Uh, we're probably going to end up rallying into CPI. Maybe we come back and, uh, I mean, this is the wrong trend line though. Uh, so that's, it's not right. The trend line actually would be up here. I think it's like 418, 419 if we were just to go tap that. Um, but I do think we end up coming back up here into this golden pocket and then we probably literally trade flat until CPI or we have this going on. All right. Or you come back and retest it or like, you know, you come over here on the one hour time frame or the four hour time frame, but maybe we end up going like that, something like this. All right, maybe that ends up taking place, all right? But let's finish on the daily time frame before we move on. And there's no reason to be all over the place. I know, guys, I am all over the place. That is an ADHD brain. It just happens, okay? It happens, but, like, there's an order to the chaos, all right? And um, I, like, it, at least I can make sense of the chaos, okay? So I, I hope you guys can as well. I, I am trying to do that. I am definitely trying to convey the info in data to you guys because this video would be completely pointless if not okay so let me know if you guys are receiving what i'm if you guys are picking up what i'm putting down let me know i, I think i'm making it pretty simple and easy to understand these videos but you guys do need me to take things down a notch okay let me know i, I read something not too long ago saying that your audience will literally uh I don't, I don't remember the percent that it said it would expand by um we'll just say your your audience will literally double within the first month of just dumbing things down to, uh, I think the guy said like a second grade. I think it was Alex Ramosi actually. Um, I, I like Alex Ramosi by the way, guys, that man has actually changed every, I don't, I'm not going to say everything, right? I'm not going to say he has changed either, right? But he has definitely provided that motivation that maybe sparked my inspiration maybe a year or two back, maybe three years. I don't know when it was. Um, but it, yeah, guys, I discovered his YouTube channel when he only had like a couple, I think he had like, I think he had under 40,000 subs, maybe even under 10,000. I don't know. He was a super small. It might have been under 10,000. He was a super small channel at the time. And he was just making these, like, they weren't crappy videos, but they weren't good videos. They were just, like, he was in a closet just with a wife beater on and literally just, like, you know, just, he just, I knew he was worth, like, $100 million. It was like, holy crap. No, he doesn't have all these subs or anything. And, like, no, he's literally trying to give me advice. So, you know, I started taking every single bit of that advice, all right? And like, yeah, and what I'm getting at is that guy's a good dude, okay, guys? Let's let's move on. Let's move on, all right? Um, over here, guys, so you do have the Daily Bullish Divergence on SPY. QQ does not have a Daily Bullish Divergence, but you did come down here, and you just came shy of filling the gap. I ended up pulling the trigger earlier just because I was at work, and I had to do things very quickly, all right, because that is just what I have to do when I'm at work. All right, so I pulled the trigger when I got on my phone, which happened to be right around the right spot. All right, if you guys want to clarify on that one, go on the Patreon. There you go. Literally alerted like right at the bottom there, all right? Uh, there was that. All right, um, but yeah, guys, I mean, we came down, we hit our target, all right, which we ended up making this gap fill the target, but it actually, it should have been 291 was the downtrend or the uptrend break target that somebody could have played. And what this has taught me, okay is i am not just going to say gap fills are going to be targets okay i'm not just going to say levels are going to be targets when i have a target that's get put on the board through the pattern site.com with a specific pattern all right um yeah it's going to be the exact target it is not going to be like here the target was 291 but i said it was close enough to 288.36 that it's price is probably going to just like get sucked down by the magnet anyway and go down there well guess what it did but it didn't hit my target so you know, all right, 291 would have been the safe target. You could have literally hit yesterday and taken your profits, right? And then today you would have just used this as the long opportunity, all right? Which, hey, there you go. All right, um, all right, so you do have your stochastic crossing up and coming over here to Bitcoin. So this is actually something I called out over here. Um, I don't know, Bitcoin could end up rallying with the markets. It doesn't make sense to me it, it, to see the indices rally with Bitcoins not, not rallying. So it's likely that we end up just seeing this thing trade flat. All right. Um, yeah. Uh, do we trade Bitcoin here? I don't know. I do. We'll keep it here because, you know, we always, it, it literally runs with the market. All right. It is another indicator that we use here on the channel. I, I can't say we don't. All right. Also, obviously, our girl Mara is directly correlated. Let's take this bad boy off. Our girl Mara, actually, by the way, GNS, real quick, if you guys do want a quick um, idea here, which I'm not going to say this is on the Patreon, but. It's not all right um but i will say this is definitely something that i'm watching all right i'm watching to see if any buying pressure steps back in because if it does it could be explosive 
All right. And uh, yeah, I could get the chance to buy some calls under three dollars here. And then, uh, you know, it does end up uh, shooting back up and doing some things. All right. This was the naked short play from um, I forgot what the guy's name on Twitter was, but it was the CEO. He has like almost a million followers just because he just follows like every person who follows him, which I don't make sense to me. It's kind of ridiculous. But um, because like how the. It, like what is your feed you're not doing that to like actually enjoy twitter you just want more followers i don't know um but either way guys this thing did just fill its gap fill so uh or its gap it does have another one down here right at uh i think it's like 60 something cents here high 62 cents so i can come down and fill that gap probably not though uh this is definitely going to be on my radar all right i'm just just putting that out there you do have the bullish divergence on the four hour time frame but the meme stock so you know all right, but enough of that. Who who even cares? Who cares? All right, who cares? Um, coming over here, what did we? Oh, what did we just talk about? We talked about SPX and SPY and QQQ. All right, so now for VIX. Okay, so we have the bullish engulfing candle here on SPY and SPX. While we have the bearish engulfing candlestick here on Mr. VIX, I told you guys that I was going to be watching for this um the 50 MA to be held yesterday. And I told you guys that if you do hold it, it's just going, you know, like it's just going to prolong this thing until you have that bounce. Uh, the bounce, not guys, like church telling me it's, it's bound to happen. All right. And a significant one at that is bound to happen. All right. We can also look at Apple and I can show you what my thoughts are over there. The main component of spine QQ, um, if that thing is bouncing, this thing is, these things are going to bounce hard. All right, they're gonna they, they literally go with Apple. All right, so uh, not much more to it than that. Look at QQQ, guys. This is just so sexy. This is so sexy. How big of a move is this? Massive. All right, massive is what I'm getting at. That is that's such a sexy move, dude. Oh, it's beautiful. It was beautiful. So good. So good. So good. But guys, I think it really is only the beginning. Okay, we can end up seeing a fake out considering the daily time frame is you know. Uh, it is a tease from time to time, all right? But uh, I would say it's more likely that this probably is the impulsive buying that I was expecting to step in at some point, all right? Um, and yeah, what better point than like literally right here at the gap fill? Like it literally was, it's showing it was filled. Oh, we're on the hourly time frame, so there's uh, extended hours. Okay, so it was filled uh, the pre-market, but it wasn't filled intraday, so it doesn't doesn't count, guys. The gap is still open. I'm keeping it on the chart, all right? But, you know, you guys, this is what I'm getting at. This is why you have the 80% reversal, because as you get towards the gaps, the people are going to be pooping their pants, right? You're shorting into a gap fill that's like, you know, it's, it's potentially going to reverse the upside. You're going to run for the door right before it. You're going to do what I did and pull the trigger right before it, all right? Now, I did that by accident, but... Well, it wasn't by accident. I had to do it because I have to be quick. But um, yeah, this is why gaps cause reversals, right? The uh, like in this case right here, shorts ran for the door, all right, and longs piled in the door. They caused a, a big cluster F, all right, because you know we're PG here on this channel. I guess we're PG thirteen. I don't know. I don't know what my rating would be. I have cut down the uh, the swearing here on the channel, all right. Thank you guys for calling me out on that like months ago, all right, because honestly. Uh, I have gotten rid of, like, yeah, my vocabulary has just improved, right? So thank you. Um, but yeah, this is why, all right? Longs piled in, shorts ran for the door, the shorts are covering. So that's also causing the self-fulfilling prophecy here of the, you know, gap for reversal. There you go. Okay. Um, all right. So that is pretty much it. Now let's go over the lower time. All right. Let's go over these um real quick and then we will get on our way it's currently 3 p.m eastern standard time so you know what time wise we're not doing too bad today not too bad all right um but yeah guys clearly you still have a lot of room to run like this is why i was saying uh we'd likely end up seeing this bounce all right spy did end up nullifying it's uh uh bullish divergence here all right with the dip this morning all right let's see what happened with spx though all right you do have still have your triple bullish divergence here on spx's uh cci and you have the do we have a triple no we don't have a triple here on the rsi but we have a simple bullish divergence here on the four hour rsi on spx what do we have on the hourly time from from the gap down this morning look at that you do have these sexy bullish divergences all right this is guys this is why we use these things okay they, they literally give us insights into what is about to take place okay that is that is what they mean to me all right, I've I've described them as like someone has their foot on the the tiger's neck before, and then when they take the tiger's the foot off of the tiger's neck, the tiger will lunge at you. That's just typically what's going to happen. 
All right. Um, and that's how I look at these. Okay. This is like with all of the buying and selling, like that volume that just came in across all points in like of history on this specific ticker. What has that done to the price? And this is what it should have done to the price. All right. Like given like the weighted average of all of the other times that's like, you know, that that's what volume should have done on this ticker. All right. And then uh, this is what it actually did. You made a new low here. All right. But this is what it should have done, which tells you, hey, all right, someone is holding the price down. Someone's bringing the price down artificially. And I, I don't want to scream manipulation or anything because manipulation, nobody should scream manipulation and get mad about it because that's literally like you should be thanking people. This is what gives us like a lot of our market insights here okay manipulation okay we want to work with the dealers guys all right that is we talk about the dealers a lot here on the channel and that's literally because the dealers are the people who consistently just make money over and over and over again just rinsing people's pockets do you not think we want to be on that side we definitely want to be on that side all right so let's be on that side let's let's work at it all right look at that you have this indecision candlestick so far it's thursday you do have a uh you have a bullish Ramy candlestick formation coming up. Uh, I don't know how it's going to end up closing out the week, though. Uh, this wick is under there, so I'm going to have to look up the rule on that one uh, for the weekly report. All right, but uh, I do think there's a solid chance that, hey, maybe next week is all green. All right, maybe we have a big, fat green week. Not sure. All right, not sure, but... Uh, let's go back over spine QQ. What is happening on their hourly time frames? We are all the way in overbought territory. We come over here to the four hour, and these guys are not. You know, let's actually just take that bad boy off. There we go. Uh, these guys are not even close to being overbought. Okay, they are. Uh, I think it said oversold on the one hour time frame. I meant overbought. It is overbought, and it's the same exact way on QQ here. All right, look at that. You have a, uh, what are these called? Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Tweezer tops. Yes, you have tweezer tops. Tweezer tops, guys, are literally just when uh, you clearly see where uh, sellers ended up, or buyers. It could be like that. This is your candlesticks, we'll say, and there's, you know, tweezers. All right. Um, but yeah, this all, all it is, it's literally representing the uh, selling pressure, buying pressure coming in to, on uh, two candlesticks, all right, at the same exact spot, which means sellers are prevalent. Okay, they are there. Okay, and they they're there to prevail. They want they want it. All right, you can see. Oh, look at that. We have another example right here. Um, oh, look at that, guys. We have another example right here. Let's see if we can find any more. We have tweezer bottoms right here. All right, do we have any more tweezer top up here before we saw a sell off? I mean, I guess you kind of have this this one big ass candle right there. Um. But yeah, guys, I, I hope I made my point pretty clear there. All right, that, that's all that meant. I, I guess, the, why why did I make a point? There's no point. There was no point to be made. I was literally just sharing uh, what is going on in my head, all right? Or I guess information that maybe everyone doesn't have access to or at least hasn't had access to yet. Now you do. That is the value of the channel, all right? Uh, again, I'm going to remind you guys, if you guys are finding value in my content, okay, especially in these videos, all right, um, or if you're just enjoying them, if you're here for all, only entertainment purposes, all right, obviously, like, no financial advice, but if you're literally here, like, hey, you want to learn about, like, you want to, like, maybe not even learn about the market. Maybe you think I'm a goofball, but maybe I'm entertaining you, all right? Maybe I'm, I'm, I'm a funny goofball. There you go, okay? Show your support with a like. There you go. Thank you very much. I, I love you. <laughs> all right, let's uh, carry on. Okay, carry on. All right, now this is something that was making a high today. Oh, no, it didn't end up making a high. All right, uh, but it is coming back down. All right, so we're going to want to see these things come back down. We're going to want to see the uh, what I pointed out yesterday, the two uh, the two year. You want to see this thing coming down. Look at that, guys. Dang it. Inflate. I mean, not dang it. Like, this is like, this is what I've been saying for literally like a month, month and a half. Like, this is what I was saying that was destined to happen. Oh, yeah, literally a month. Look at that. Well, I was saying it before that. We are somewhere over here when I was saying this was right around the corner. And yes, guys, this was right around the corner. We are at highs. Okay, two-year break-even expectations. That's what inflation, that's what this is. They're the two-year inflation break-even expectation is pretty much what these represent. Um, it's like just how the market looks at inflation. All right, that's how I see it, at least. And guess what? The Fed tracks this, all right? So if this thing is at a high, they're going to bring, you know, uh, the rates to a high, all right? Uh, which means this is now at a point where they didn't think they will have to do, like, they would have to do so, all right? Um, but it's like a complete shock is what I'm saying to the Fed, all right? But like in reality, they probably, they should, well, no, never mind. They definitely know. Jerome definitely knows he's putting on a complete show. 
and he just chases this thing. He definitely knows this, and he just doesn't say anything. All right, uh, but guess what? Jerome spoke here. 4.1%, guys, we're at 5%. That is like 20% increase right here, all right? Like, are we going to see a 20% decrease? All right, are we literally going to see this take place? Uh, I'm not saying on SPY, maybe on QQ, 20% decrease top to bottom. That comes back down, oh, down over here. All right, uh, but that's what I'm getting at, guys. When that thing goes up, this thing should go down, all right? Uh, you want to see that thing start cooling off or we're going to get uh, more fuel for the counter trend rally, okay? Um, but if not, like, guys, I mean, I mean, well, here's the thing. The bond market is probably just going to stay up high, all right? I'm, I'm straight up. It's probably going to continue pricing in these things or at least just not change anything, all right? Or it's going to zigzag up there until that CPI report, and then that's really going to change things, okay? So that's like the next big catalyst. Uh, I probably won't even short before then, all right? Um, I will don't even know if I'll be playing a strangle, guys. Recently, I just don't really have the desire. I don't want the uncertainty, guys. I really want to just see my accounts go straight up. All right. Um, obviously not straight up, but like, you know, well, yes, yeah, straight up. Never mind. You know, should be happening with proper risk management and trade management. You should see your accounts go straight up. That is what I've missed. And uh, yeah, guys, I'm back on the path. I'm I'm pretty freaking excited. Pretty freaking excited, guys. Um, I am most excited for Mark, guys. I Oh, sweet baby Jesus. Sweet baby Jesus, right? All I'm saying, guys, is hundreds of thousands of dollars are on the table for absolutely anybody who has access to a to just earned income, to a job, okay? You have a few months to prepare, okay? And I'm well, you know, hundreds of thousands, we'll say we'll say a hundred thousand. We'll just say a hundred thousand is available to anybody who is just willing to just save until the opportunity presents itself. You guys want that opportunity, I will be here with it when it arrives. All right. There you go. All right. If you guys do want the opportunity before it even arrives, all right, and you guys want the exact plan, okay, and, uh, you know, you want every, you want me to hold your hand pretty much leading up to that just so you don't miss that. Patreon. There you go. All right. Um, I think that is pretty much it. All right. Uh, you're over here on SPX on the one hour CCI. You are not in overbought territory like you are on Spy and QQQ. So that's something to note. Um, but I, I think it's more likely that we stay up here and we just literally, do that instead of having a uh, any significant pullback here maybe we do end up seeing a little pullback maybe come back and back test this all right you come over the 30 minute chart um see all these look at all these wick rejections guys all right you finally broke out over it i mean obviously i'm going to be looking at the one hour time frame but you could look over here on the 30 minute uh look at this guys all right maybe we do end up seeing this thing cycle back down here and do a little thing like that all right um but i do suspect you're probably going to be seeing that pullback all right look at this all right um it can just impulsively break through this thing. I mean, that is what you had leading into it, but then it's starting to stall after it had that hourly candle close above it. All right, so we're going to really have to see, okay? Like the market is deciding, hey, where are we going from here? Are we pulling back or are we just going to explode up to, to where, I, where I've been saying, like, we're likely headed? All right, um, we're not likely headed. Like, we're just, well, yeah, likely headed, but not where I've been saying, where I've been showing you guys. I've been literally, that's all I do here on the channel, guys. I just show you the factors that I know. Okay, that I see in front of me. And then you guys can make your own decisions based off yourself. Okay, if you guys want my decisions, you guys know exactly where to find those. Okay, there you go. All right, um, last thing I will point out is DXY. Okay, DXY. All right, uh, this thing is still finding resistance up here uh, in this, uh, where the seller stepped in last time. I still think this thing is probably going to end up having a pullback. All right, uh, before and uh, end up continuing higher or it's going to do this okay i'm going to show you exactly the two scenarios here and these are going to be the different ways okay we either continue breaking down which i think is highly unlikely on the indices okay and if that's if those are going to rally on the indices i expect this thing to fall just like if i expect this thing to fall i expect a rally there all right but i'm just showing you based off the dollar the uh, the two possibilities here on the indices okay we either break out here we come back for the retest there you go okay you, so you either continue selling here, you, you have that close, maybe that close underneath the 200 May, maybe you fall 10 to 20 more dollars in SPY and QQQ, all right? And that would be this, and then you have the pullback, and this would be a brief counter trend rally that occurs on the indices, um, and then you end up continuing off the races. But like, guys, we discussed the big picture point of view here on the channel, like almost, the, it, not almost, like every single video, that's what we're trying to do here. We're trying to sum things up, bring everything together. All right, and I'm just saying, guys, it doesn't make sense for uh, indices to end up doing that. It makes so much more sense, to me at least, um, end up seeing this. All right, uh, wait, hang on, brain fart, hang on. Do 
you end up, yeah, to end up seeing this, you rally into the CPI, okay? That makes much more sense than uh, falling. I mean, maybe you're going to rally off CPI, maybe you rally into the FOMC, and then that comes down. But, it, like, guys, I know with all likelihood, a hammer comes down in FOMC, all right? Um, so that is what I am, uh, you know, I'm going to build that into my analysis, all right? Um, all right, so... And oh, and then the other possibility is literally what I think is about to take place. I think we're probably going to see this thing cool off, all right? Maybe it's a decent size cool off, and you get a bunch of wicks that you see the dollar struggling over here, and then boom, it starts heating up. Maybe you get a hot CPI report, and this thing, uh, you know, ends up going off the races. Uh, if the Fed does what I think they will do, you're going to see DXY uh, come March 22nd. You're going to see this thing start doing this again, okay? And you know what caused this, guys? Rate hikes. Okay, this was the market freaking out about rate hikes. Okay, this is what happens when the, when the Fed does their thing, dollar goes up. Okay, the Fed is about to start doing their thing again. All right, they the, the market was you know rallying because they thought the mar the uh, the Fed was going to stop doing the thing or at least pause doing the thing for a few months. All right, but I was trying to tell everyone. All right, they're screaming from the rooftops here on my channel at least. That's not how things work. Okay, I, I'm not going to claim to be someone with years and years and years of experience. Okay, but I'm going to say I'm, I'm absolutely obsessed with the markets. Uh, I think about the markets so freaking often. Um, and yeah, okay, um, I, I have done extensive research on the markets, bear markets, and uh, how things have behaved over history. And I can say right now, yeah, all right. It just wasn't likely that what everyone was thinking was going to happen was going to happen, all right? And on top of that, you had the, the greed and fear index reach 79, I think, at a high. That's like, you know, that's almost extreme greed over 80, I believe. So, um, you know, things were destined to uh, cool off. And you weren't having any insane put-to-call ratio spikes. Uh, wait. No, never mind. That is, no, that would actually, no, that, never mind. That does not work with what I was just saying, all right? But yeah, you weren't seeing any crazy put-to-call ratio spikes. Uh, you did see recently, I think you saw like a few last week, all right? Um, but there weren't anything crazy like we saw back uh, over here. Uh, when we were in here, you start, I think it was on this day right here, you saw like an all-time high put-to-call CBOE exchange, like, you know, the put-to-call ratio. You've never seen the 2.1, I think it was, or 2.43 or something. It was something crazy, right? Um, but that's why we were destined to have a, a short squeeze, a, a very strong short squeeze. We were destined, it was it was literally destined to happen, all right? Or you were. it was destined to fall extremely hard, because dealers would have to flip short to, uh, you know, not lose because, yeah, dealers guys, they'll always win. All right. And they always will cause dramatic moves if they get caught lacking. All right. And, and like I said, guys, dealers are probably going to be on the winning side of the trade. The vast majority of the time, they're going to be the people who keep running people's pockets. All right. I want to be with them. All right. They're not going to be caught lacking many times, which is why with all likelihood, we're going to be going up there. All right. Um, but yeah. All right. Uh, I think that is pretty much it. I guess we could we could look at this bad boy. All right, you did end up breaking out past your 200 of May, so that is something to note. All right, uh, again, just want the Patreon. All right, yeah, just, all my updates they they will all be in there. Okay, every everything I am thinking um, that is profitable, that everything I'm thinking money is going to be in there. We'll we'll put it that way, uh, trade idea wise and update wise. All right. Um, but I'm still going to update you guys here on some uh, some plays. Uh, I am going to be strictly covering the indices here on this channel, all right? Uh, I did say we're going to go over Apple, so we'll go over Apple very quickly. Um, but occasionally I'll call things out, all right? So this is one I called out, and um, yeah, it is, it is going pretty well, okay, pretty well. I think I called this one at 0.37. Um, maybe it was lower than that. I'm not sure. I called it out on the Twitter um but yeah guys all right you now have volume that is higher than there and you broke past two resistance levels all right uh your 200 of may that you were you had two days of uh seller stepping in there you literally gapped up over that and rallied your butt off now you're in gap resistance here all right right here at uh starts at the high is 0.5876 so now you're at gap resistance that's literally holy jesus that's where you started freaking falling from that's ridiculous that is ridiculous. What was the high of day? 0.59. Um, but yeah, all right. So like now that you're in there, I guys, I gotta assume you're probably going to come up here and tap that 0.64. After that, that's when things get really crazy. And keep in mind what I've been telling you guys. This thing is a small market cap, 35 million. It has over 100% of the free float shorted. I don't, 
you know, these things happen, all right? But, you know, the things happen, all right? We've seen them with Redbox. So I've called out several short squeezes before they uh, really started here on the channel, all right? Um, but I hope maybe some of you guys remember those things, all right? And this, I think, is going to be one of them. I think this thing is probably going to be epic. It's probably not going to stop here where Zip Trader said, like, this is his target for it. It's probably going to go up here. All right, and then it's probably like I don't want to get anybody super hyped because that's not what I want to do here on the channel. I'm just speaking my thoughts. I, this thing has an extremely low market cap, thirty-five million dollars. Okay, if it comes up here, it's going to be like eighty mil in market cap, eighty to ninety mil in market cap. Okay, so like we've seen plays go to like a billion in market cap, like GNS. I don't know what GNS went to, um, but like it pumped. Okay, so it's two seventy-seven instead of fifty mil market cap right now. Uh, let's just do some mental math here, all right? 250%. There you go. Went to 150 mil market cap, all right? So if this, and it did not have the short interest that this one has. Not even close. Yes, there was naked short interest hype, but no, no, it did not have a high short interest. I, if I am remembering things correctly, it did not. All right, you come over here to this one, and uh, this one's a 35 mil market cap, so 150 mil would bring us to... Uh, would that be all right? Hundred, uh, it would literally be going to uh, come on, brain, turn around. You know what? Screw it. We're using a calculator. One hundred fifty divided by thirty-five, four x. Okay, it would be a four x from here. You'd be going to two bucks. All right. Um, so that's personally what I think is going to take place. I think you're going to get one sick nasty squeeze. This thing is all over Reddit on the short squeeze thing. This is just what everyone has agreed on, I guess. Um. And I mean, yeah, I, I clearly see the proof of concept here. So yeah, this thing is, guys, it's, it's gaining momentum, all right? It could end up having a pullback, but uh, at the end of the day, this thing is probably going to light some fireworks at some point, and it's going to start having 10 cent moves. And that's when things will get really crazy, all right? But I really do think, hey, if you end up getting a breakout over here, this is where, like, this is where a lot of momentum traders are just going to hop on this thing. And you're probably going to see some really crazy action. All right. Um, with that being said, guys, I am going to come look at Apple because I told you guys I was going to look at Apple. All right. Um, and give you guys my thoughts over here. So I don't know why that is doing that. We're on the four hour. That's why. All right. I was going to say uh, Apple daily 200 MA. That is what I'm going to be watching. Can we get back over it? All right. Uh, if you start seeing sellers step back in here, maybe you end up uh, seeing what I was talking about. Maybe you end up. I'm up here on uh come over here the one hour time frame. Here at SPY. Oh, my trend line freak it changed again, guys. It changed. Boo da boo da boo. There we go. All right. So maybe we do end up popping up here and then maybe we get that pullback. And that's what would happen. Start getting rejection at the Apple's 200 May because it's the biggest component of uh spy and QQQ. Um, and then there you go. By the way, spy and QQ are just ETFs of uh NQ and ES. Oh, there's that. Or SPX, NQ and SPX, and then ES and... Oh, we got to look at the freaking futures, guys, all right? Nah, nah. I'll leave it for tomorrow's video. If you guys do want that, there you go. If you want it tonight, Patreon. All right, guys, so uh, now, with that being said, I will catch you guys in the next video, okay? Almost peace. Guys, guess what? We were right here when you went, went on an absolute insane run, okay? I'm not saying you're going to go on an absolute insane run again, but I think there's a solid chance we end up coming up here to this consolidation, this congestion area, and that's where the sellers step back in. Um, or you end up hitting stops and going slightly above that on the indices, and then boom, there's going to be another short entry at some point, all right? Um, but yeah, guys, I'm not looking to get short yet, all right, guys? So with that being said, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.